Hello children, in this video I will teach you about preposition of time. So, here in this table you can see some of the prepositions which are used for time. Like for example, in, for, after, to, by, at, from, during, on, since, before, till. Now, use of some prepositions of time. In. I learned to drive in six months. The world war began in 1939. Some of the uses of in in the following expressions like in April, in a month, in the evening, in a week, in the afternoon, in a few minutes. So, you can understand where we can use in. In is used to show what is used to show the time. Okay. Now, study the following examples. The second one is your at. He started work at 16. The party began at 5 sharp. So, we also use at in the following expressions. For example, at the moment, at the age of 16, at lunch time, at 6, at noon. So, these are some of the expressions which we, where you can use at. And at is also uh, used to indicate a point. Okay. Specific address or a building or indicate a point of time. So, next comes on. His birthday falls on Monday. We congratulated him on his birthday. On March 5th, on Monday morning. So, on indicates what? On indicates the specific day or the specific time. Okay. Now, from, to, by, for, since. The school is open from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. The match was over by 4 o'clock. We have waited for two hours. We have lived in this house since 1982. I studied in this school for four years. Now we also use expressions like by sunset, by weekend, for six days, by next year, by next month, for a few days, by March, for a month, for a year. So, so from, to, by, for, since. Since tells us the moment of time when an action began. Okay. And for tells us about the duration of an action. And your uh, from refers to a start till finish schedule period etc. And during is used to actions takes place simultaneously. And by indicates that something will happen or should happen before a certain time. Now comes during. At some point of time or throughout the time of something, during is used. The sun gives us light during the day. I feel asleep during the film. We played chess during our lunch break. So, we also use during in these expressions. During the holidays, during the meal, during the examination, during the night, during the interval. Till and until. Up to time when. Okay. That means it indicates that something has come to its end or will end soon. Like for example, he stayed in bed till half past ten. Goodbye till tomorrow. I waited for her till six o'clock. 
So, these are the examples or the prepositions of time. Now, some more prepositions are of, by, with, to or towards. Now, of. So, in the example you can see these ornaments are made of gold. Everyone was present at the time of his death. So, some expressions with of are a dress of silk, a painting of Hussein's, a friend of mine, a sheet of paper, a man of courage. So, you know, it is very easy where we use of. Now, by this book was written by Prem Chand. Then, we send the money by money order. He, he goes to school by bicycle. Then, with. With is used like I cut the paper with a pair of scissors. The cupboard was stuffed with dirty clothes. The man with spectacles was my friend. Now, to and towards. See children, towards refers to direction. And to refers to specific destinations. Kaha pahunchna hai. For example, to, he threw the ball to the children. Okay, so the destination is children. The thief was taken to the police station. So, where was the destination? The police station. Now, the boys ran towards the library. So, the direction was towards the library. The people rushed towards the site of the accident. So, the direction was accident. Okay. Site of the accident, not accident. But the direction was towards the site of the accident. So, children, I hope you all have understood what is prepositions. The prepositions of place, prepositions of time. For your better understanding children, I request everyone to go through the book, read and try to understand on your own and then come up with your doubts. Okay children? Thank you.